Good morning, YouTube. How you doing today? Hope you're having a good one, Jared GTC. Hit that like and subscribe button for us if you would. Uh, I am in the Hellcat Red Eye 2023 Charger, and we are off to get this bad boy tinted today. But in addition to that, I thought we'd also talk a little bit about my initial driving impressions coming from a scat pack. So let's pop right into this video. Right, so you know I never got to really test drive a Hellcat Red Eye ever before um, not an uncommon phenomenon they usually don't let you test drive these bad boys so it is what it is and so as I dropped into the seat for the first time behind this car <laughs> <laughs> uh, initially you know from just an aesthetic standpoint, uh, the initial impact, it's a lot like my scat pack was, you know, the, the layout's familiar and all that. But from there, when you hit the gas, it's a totally different feel. You're going from 485 horsepower to well over 800. That is a significant change. I mean, even 100 horsepower, you're gonna feel it. If you're coming from, say, the 375 of an RT, to the 485 of a scat pack, it's significant. And anyone who's, you know, test driven both of those or come from one to the other, it's noticeable. So you notice that power instantly, but dang it, <laughs> it's that supercharger. And it's just a combination that's unreal. And um, so that's obviously what you notice right away. And you can go back and look at my taking and delivery video. I'll put a link here, but it is, it's a wow. No, no doubt about it. And Shane was in the car with me. He was with me when I took delivery and he had the same reaction. Let's give it a Easy. shot. Here we go. And here it is right here. Let's just, I'm in a neighborhood, but let's just give it a little. Oh my gosh. It's so, it's so freaking intoxicating. <laughs> it, is, it is, man. It's just. Mmm, boy, that Hennigan goes down smooth. <laughs> that's what it is, and, and um, I think that's one of the things people love about these cars. Nobody gets that supercharger whine, and the, um, and the exhaust note so freaking perfect, like Dodge. It, it's just true, it is what it is. Oh, dude, dude. So I, I'm not sure exactly when you're gonna see this video, but I will tell you, I haven't had the car that long still. It hasn't been tinted, that's why we're off to get it tinted today. Um, and I'm still just in, you know, settling in and, and, and getting used to it. So that's why we're doing the initial driving impressions here. All right, so now we get into the other things that I noticed that, that are different from my scat pack uh, up upon initial kind of driving impressions. Looking out over the hood, it's totally different because of those vents, those huge heat extractors. And that's, that's just bad to the bone. I mean, those are just cool looking. And as I look back at pictures of my scat pack, I miss, I miss that when I look at the scat pack. I'm like, oh man, those are just so nicely placed and they just look menacing. They just look really, really good. This is their like um, top of the line kind of model, right? So the way that they've put the red in the analog gauges is just so sick. I love it. And the glowing SRT in the middle of the steering wheel is awesome. But one thing that a lot of people complain about on the Scat Pack is that the, the paddle shifters are too short. Well, guess what? On the Red Eye, and I'm sure it's the same on the regular Hellcat, they're already extended. They're way longer. They've got these high uh, paddle shifters. So people were putting these extenders on. Shane did it on his, where I jumped into his car one time. Oh, you put the paddle shifter, the extenders on. Well, that's interesting. You don't need to do that here. They're already done for you. All right, so onto the highway here. And one of the biggest things that I felt um, jumping into this car, and I knew it was gonna be the case for me, uh, are the seats. And the, the seats are just miles uh, better than the Scat Pack. Sorry, but the Scat Pack, 
uh, Alcantara seats and maybe, you know, those that have cloth seats, no issues, but, um, I, I didn't love the Alcantara seats. They look great. I, th I think they're fine. They, you know, I didn't hate them, but, um, you know, I don't understand why you couldn't get the full Napa leather as an option. And maybe they're reserving that for kind of the top tier, uh, you know, models, but, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense when I can get the leather in the SXTs. Uh, in my plus, my SXT plus challenger, I had full leather. Now they're not exactly the same as these leather seats, but they're close. They're close enough. And, and I just feel these are just, um, way more comfortable. They're just way more comfortable. They just are. And so from the seats, I'll go to the color because I had the red guts in my scat pack and I ordered the red guts, uh, in my red eye as well. Now the reds are not the same. The red in the scat pack is very much um, a fire engine bright red. The red here is kind of the demonic red is what they call it. And it's a it's a classier red. I'm just gonna say it's a classier red. It's, it's, it's not as bright, but it's solid red. And it's a, I don't know, it's just a nice leathery red color. And the, the red color is, is pulled through into the doors, uh, into the floor mats. It matches the, the red in the uh, analog gauges. It's just awesome. Now, of course, there's some other little things like, um, you know, your startup, uh, when you start the car up, your startup screen is a little bit different. It's got the, the Hellcat logo in there. You've got the Hellcat logo on the outside of the car instead of the Bumblebee, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, you've got the uh, speedometer that goes to 220 instead of, I think, the Scat Pack goes to 180. One thing I really, really love about this uh, version of the engine, besides the supercharger, I mean, that's the biggest one. But I like the fact that um, it doesn't have the- MDS essentially stands for Multiple Displacement System. So essentially what it's gonna go ahead and do is turn off four of your eight cylinders. The way that it's gonna do that is to turn off four of the injectors, and then it's also got some solenoids that are located inside the engine that are gonna collapse the valves for the intake and the exhaust. I don't want my V8 dropping to four banger uh, just to save some gas. I get it. That was a nice feature if you're driving it daily and you're doing the everyday thing. Um, but not, not for this, a performance car. I, I, I know there can be some issues with that and there can be some, some problems down the road. If you're dropping to four cylinders all the time, maybe it adds a little bit more stress to that part of the engine. I'm not a, you know, full on mechanic here. I just know what I read and I just, I don't, I don't need my engine doing anything more than it has to. One thing I really, really hated about the Scat Pack, I wish I didn't order, I forget which technology group it is, where it's got the um, the warning signal, right? So if you get too close to a car in front, it's got the it's got it up in the lower part of the grill in front, and um, it, several times I'd be driving and somebody would jump in front of me, and the warning system goes. And I know that you can shut that off, but yeah, my gosh, about gave me a heart attack every time it went off. You look a little stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> you don't have that as an option on the red eye. I don't miss that at all. Okay, so little touches. Uh, I like the fact that the startup uh, button is red. Um, initially, I thought I might miss the fact that the scat pack, because of the red guts, had the red stitching all over. But this has the white stitching with the red. Now, the red here is much more overwhelming. And as I look at it, it's like from a design standpoint, from a, an aesthetic standpoint, it actually makes a lot of sense because there's so much red in here the white stitching gives it a really, really classy look. And of course I went with the carbon fiber accents and the suede headliner. Um, I mean, you're spending this much on a car, might as well go all in. And of course you gotta love the jailbreak uh, logo on the inside instead of the 392 with the, with the bumblebee. The floor mats with the red lining around the outside, that wasn't an option uh, for my scat pack. It was just black. Um, I would have got that option if it was available at the time. Of course, I think that's part of the jailbreak package, but I could be wrong there. The SRT logo everywhere is just dope. I don't know why on the scat packs, the middle of the steering wheel doesn't say like, you know, scat pack or 392 or something. Um, I mean, I kind of get it, but I kind of don't because here you've got SRT in the middle. 
So another initial impression from, from my standpoint is that, and I don't know if it's because my, my 2021 was built during the pandemic or, or whatever, but there were a number of little nits. If you go back and look at my video that I felt like, you know, that it came with, that I was kind of like, I don't know, slightly annoyed by, um, starting with the fact that the steering wheel needed a slight adjustment. It was, the, the alignment was slightly off right, right from the, the factory. I had a little alignment issue with the door. These are all nits because it was easily fixed, but you know, and I just, I just feel like this one from day one, it, it's been, um, you know, I don't know, as, as, as good as it gets. Now, granted, um, I've only got a few hundred miles on the car at this point, but um, again, I mentioned the build quality, no weird rattles, no shakes, shimmies, uh, or any weird stuff, no misaligned wheel, the doors line up nicely, they close real solid. So build quality on this, I'm super stoked with, no issues whatsoever. I don't know, I don't know how these are built. I'd be curious if somebody works at the factory, like do the cars that get the SRT treatment, are they rolling down the same line as the, the rest of the cars, as the scats and the RTs and, and other stuff? Or are they built on separate lines? I don't know. I'm curious, curious minds wanna know. Uh, let me know if you are aware or work there and have any insight. Anyways, we're getting close to the tent shop here, so we will continue the discussion after. All right, well, this is where I've been bringing my cars, and here we are. Pre-tent, looking solid. Does need a little bit of a bath, but I cannot wait to see how this thing looks without the fish bowling. Thing is gonna look sick tinted. Let's do it. Six hours later. Oh gosh, it's been about five, six hours. Been out just uh, hanging out today and we are back. I'm gonna find this Hellcat Red Eye. Where is it? Where is it? Where are we at? Oh, I see it. I see it. Let's wrap around. Oh man. Oh, dude. Holy crap. Great. Oh man, that like makes a di what a difference. That was a good choice, right? favorite that's why i got it on my car but i love it oh, this is open here yeah i'm gonna run get to be real quick here and we'll okay? oh man that's perfect oh man look at that guys that's what the car needed all right we'll pay them and get this show on the road Woo! i'm not gonna lie guys it is a little bit of a warm one out for uh we're Northern California here. It's probably high 80s, maybe 90 today. I'm sure some of y'all are like, uh, that's nothing. Um, but dang, you know, comment below whether you, uh, what you think of it. I got my shades on and I can see out clearly. I don't want any issues driving at night, not being able to see, and frankly, uh, you know, it's pushing the it's pushing the legality on the front windows. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues, but uh, I'm not going limo tent. Anywho, let me know what you think. I think it looks freaking sick. Uh, it, it just it needed it. Obviously, I can't go around fish bowling, and with this stark black and triple nickel combination, oh man. Anyways, as I drive back towards the house here, I, I will tell you that. Just driving this car, while it feels like more than a little bit of a caged beast, it also is incredibly confidence-inspiring. You know, the big 305s all the way around, anyone who's driven one of these, it just feels so planted. Part of it is the weight. It's a heavy car. It's a big car. Um, you, just, you just feel very, I don't know, safe. It feels like it's planted on the road. Um, I feel like I can throw it around a bit, a bit without, you know, stomping on the gas, but it is, like I said, a caged beast. And when you punch it, it goes. So, um, that's, 
that's something I'm learning in a hurry. But uh, anyways, those are my initial impressions. There's definitely some things I like uh, a lot better on this car than my Scat Pack. Um, I mean, obviously it's a step up. Is it worthy of the price? I think that's the only area that um, I think is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> is that you know you say to yourself are you getting value out of a hellcat red eye i don't know you know define value right i just was walking around waiting for the tent to be done i popped over to the dodge dealership and they're asking 70k for wide body scat packs so you tell me value i mean i didn't pay any markup on this i'd rather have this with no markup than a 70,000 marked up scat pack. So my last uh, thought is that, um, and I've had this in my in my head since I first sat behind the wheel of this, this red eye, that the steering wheel feels different. Um, I know the stitching's a little bit different on it. It's got this, um, this insert at the bottom. It's still a flat bottom like the scat pack, but it feels a little thicker. It feels just different. And, and I actually like it a lot so not nothing wrong with the steering wheel on the scat i had no no problem with it and maybe this is all in my head but i don't think so because you know i owned the scat for a couple years and um i i this this feels different in my hand that's what she said anyway maybe maybe others can tell me that i'm smoking crack but uh that's my thought on the steering wheel anyways guys feel free to uh drop any comments hit this with a like or a dislike, whatever. Um, thank you for being part of the channel and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Take care.